So today we'll be looking at the Great Hall of Bulls, which is work number two. The artist architect is unknown, can be dated around 15,000 to 13,000 BCE. It's from Paleolithic Europe. The medium is rock painting, specifically charcoal and ochre on white calcite. It's from Lascaux, France, and it is 11 feet 6 inches long. Here is a closer look at the work, and if you can imagine holding up a torch to the wonderful crevices, perhaps you might imagine the bulls and all the animals running across the cave. So for some visual analysis, we can see uh, there are silhouettes and contours of horses, deer, bison, elk, lions, a rhinoceros, and a bear in twisted perspective, also known as composite view, which is a mix of profile and frontal viewpoint. So you can see in the two images, you're combining a frontal head and a profile body to make a descriptive view of this bull. So descriptive and optical view are defined at the bottom there. Descriptive means to depict so a figure is identifiable even if it's not realistic versus optical view is to depict exactly. And on the cave there are also dots and lines and abstract marks and a humanoid figure that we'll see a little later. These shapes were created by blowing colors and also carving on the walls. For some contextual historical analysis, there are many tools found in the cave and holes in walls of the cave that may have been for uh, scaffolding while they are painting. The large scale of the animals could indicate that this was a planned project and the overlapped animals could indicate that the process of repetitive drawing may have held ritual significance. Now the different facing animals indicate multiple artists and the fact that this is not a herd. You can see the blue arrows are pointing to the right, those animals are pointing to the right, and the red arrow is pointing to the left. That animal is facing the opposite direction. The fact that there's no ground line, that all the animals are not standing on the same plane, could also indicate that they are not of the same herd. So why were these paintings created? There are two running theories for this. One theory is that the images and a potential connected ritual were believed to help overpower their prey. And number two is that these images could communicate narratives. So here uh, is the humanoid figure that I was talking about from before with a bird head and there's also a bird on a stick in front of him. Maybe this could be a shaman who is a priest or a healer who can communicate with spirits. And then there's a bison facing the audience with organs spilling out from a wound, injured potentially from the weapon or a rhinoceros horn.